A Life Upended, the story of Najwa Peterson. Najwa Peterson was once a prominent figure in Cape Town. She was known for her elegance and involvement in social circles. Then, tragedy struck. Her husband, Talia Peterson, a beloved music icon, was murdered in their home. The year was 2006. The news sent shockwaves through the nation. Najwa was arrested for her role in the murder. She was later found guilty of orchestrating the crime. The court sentenced her to 28 years in prison. This case captivated the public's attention. It revealed the dark side of ambition and desperation. The trial exposed a web of deceit and betrayal. The nation grappled with the downfall of a woman once perceived as a pillar of society. The story of Najwa Peterson is a stark reminder of the fragility of life. It highlights the devastating consequences of choices made in moments of despair. Yet it also presents an opportunity to examine themes of justice, redemption, and the possibility of second chances. Behind Bars, Seeking Redemption, Rehabilitation, and Programs Prison life is a stark contrast to the world outside. It is a place of confinement, introspection, and for some, transformation. For Najwa Peterson, prison became the setting for her journey of rehabilitation. She participated actively in various programs aimed at personal growth and development. She enrolled in educational courses, expanding her knowledge and skills. She sought solace in faith, finding comfort and guidance within the prison walls. Najwa dedicated herself to counseling sessions. She confronted her past actions and worked towards taking responsibility. Her dedication to self-improvement did not go unnoticed. Prison officials observed a change in her demeanor. She displayed remorse and a willingness to make amends. This commitment to rehabilitation became central to her parole application. It signaled a desire to reintegrate into society as a changed individual. The Balancing Act of Justice Parole in South Africa South Africa's parole system is designed to balance the needs of justice with the possibility of rehabilitation. The Correctional Services Act of 1998 provides the framework for parole. It outlines the criteria for eligibility and the decision-making process. Parole is not a right but a privilege. It is granted to offenders who have demonstrated genuine remorse and rehabilitation. The parole board considers various factors when reviewing an application. These factors include the severity of the crime, the offender's behavior in prison, and the potential risk to society. The board aims to ensure that releasing an offender on parole will not compromise public safety. Their goal is to support the offender's reintegration while upholding the principles of justice. Voices Unheard – Victims and the Parole Process Victims of crime have a crucial role in the parole process. Their voices are essential in ensuring that justice is served. Victims have the right to submit victim impact statements. These statements detail the emotional, physical, and financial consequences of the crime. In Najwa Peterson's case, the family of Taliat Peterson played an active role. They expressed their pain and loss, reminding the parole board of the devastating impact of the crime. Their statements provided a poignant reminder of the human cost of Najwa's actions. They emphasized the importance of accountability and the need for closure. The inclusion of victim impact statements ensures that the parole process is not solely focused on the offender. It recognizes the lasting impact of crime on victims and their families, giving them a platform to be heard. Section 5. A Second Chance, Pre-Release Preparation and Post-Release Conditions Preparing for release from prison is a critical step in the reintegration process. Offenders participate in pre-release programs designed to equip them with the skills and support needed to navigate life outside prison walls. These programs address practical matters, such as finding employment, securing housing, and accessing community resources. Upon release, offenders are subject to specific conditions. These conditions aim to minimize the risk of re-offending and support their successful transition back into society. Najwa Peterson's parole conditions include regular reporting to a parole officer, restrictions on her movements, and mandatory participation in therapy and support groups. These conditions are not meant to be punitive, but rather to provide structure and guidance during her reintegration. Section 6. Healing the Wounds – Restorative Justice in Action Restorative justice plays a vital role in the parole process, emphasizing repair and healing over punishment. It provides a platform for offenders to acknowledge the harm they have caused and work towards making amends. This approach involves facilitated dialogues between victims and offenders. 
While the details of such dialogues remain confidential, they offer a powerful opportunity for healing and understanding. Victims can express their pain, seek answers, and work towards forgiveness. Offenders can take responsibility for their actions, express remorse, and begin to rebuild trust. Restorative justice is an ongoing process that extends beyond the prison walls. It recognizes that true healing takes time and requires a commitment from both victims and offenders to engage in a process of reconciliation. Section 7. Beyond the Bars, Reintegration, and a New Beginning Reintegration into society after prison is a complex and challenging process. Offenders face numerous obstacles, including the stigma of a criminal record, limited employment opportunities, and the need to rebuild broken relationships. Successful reintegration requires a multifaceted approach. It involves support from correctional services, community organizations, and society. Support groups and mentorship programs play a vital role in providing guidance and encouragement to offenders navigating this new chapter. For Najwa Peterson, reintegration will be an ongoing journey. She will need to confront the consequences of her actions, rebuild her life, and work towards regaining the trust of those she has hurt. Section 8. The Ripple Effect, Community Support and Supervision The success of reintegration relies heavily on community support. When communities embrace returning citizens, providing them with opportunities for employment, housing, and social inclusion, the chances of successful reintegration increase significantly. Community-based organizations play an invaluable role. They offer tailored programs and services that address the specific needs of ex-offenders. From job training and life skills workshops to substance abuse counseling and mental health support, these organizations provide a lifeline for those rebuilding their lives. Effective supervision is equally crucial. Parole officers act as guides and mentors. They monitor compliance with parole conditions, provide support, and connect offenders with resources to facilitate their successful reintegration. Section 9. A Journey Unfolding, Challenges and Triumphs The path to reintegration is rarely smooth. Setbacks and challenges are inevitable. Offenders may struggle with feelings of guilt, shame, and the weight of their past actions. They may encounter discrimination and prejudice, making it difficult to secure employment or housing. Despite these obstacles, many ex-offenders persevere, demonstrating resilience and a commitment to change. They find strength in their support systems, drawing on the guidance of parole officers, the encouragement of community groups, and the unwavering love of their families. Najwa Peterson's journey will undoubtedly have its share of challenges. Yet, her commitment to rehabilitation her participation in restorative justice, and the support she receives from her family will be crucial factors in determining her success. Section 10, A Light in the Darkness, Hope for the Future. The story of Najwa Peterson is a testament to the complexities of the human experience. It is a story of transgression, accountability, and the potential for redemption. While her crime shocked the nation, her journey through the correctional system and her efforts towards rehabilitation offer a glimmer of hope. Her case highlights the importance of a justice system that balances punishment with rehabilitation. It underscores the significance of restorative justice in healing the wounds of crime, and it emphasizes the critical role of community support in facilitating successful reintegration. Section 11. A Call for Understanding Breaking the Cycle Najwa Peterson's story is not an isolated incident. It reflects a broader societal need for understanding, compassion, and second chances. It calls for a shift in perspectives, encouraging communities to view ex-offenders not as burdens, but as individuals deserving of opportunities to rebuild their lives. By fostering a culture of forgiveness, support, and inclusivity, we can contribute to breaking the cycle of 